still need much, much more information to figure out what's going on here. But what we do know is Esther's... I will drag my leg behind me. I will drag it like a crumpled hatchback, tires blown and sparking across the dimming lights of my vision. I'm running out of painkillers and am following the flicker of the moon home. When Paul keeled over dead on the road to Damascus, they restarted his heart with the jump leads from a crumpled hatchback. It took 21 attempts to convince it to wake up. Is that number 21 again? Is Damascus a metaphor for the for the place where the car crash happened? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a person? By that candle over there, is that another person? Dude! Hey! Is that... Is it somebody that I know? He said Paul died. Well, he died and then he came back. Wait. Is Paul the drunk driver? And there... there there's the person. Still still there. Uh, I can only see the silhouette, though. I can only see the silhouette. So... Maybe Paul is the drunk driver? It's hard to say. I have so many names. I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. I can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge and carves parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. Where the hell did it go? There was somebody here. We all saw it, didn't we? I've been too small, but I saw it. And lo, he was proceeding on his journey. I, I am going on my journey. Am I, am I on this journey too? Is it the narrator's journey? He wants to become a bird so he can fly off this island. Are we going to help him with that? Will that solve his grief? For he was come near to Damascus and he and has come near to Damascus. I assume Damascus is the is a symbol for for the place of the crash. Neither did he eat. If only drink. Donnelly had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. Hmm. So, okay, the carrot. Wow. It's it's a little un unsure what what is going on here, but. I don't know. I don't know. But Donnelly had syphilis, apparently. That's that's something that I did get. Let's head up here. There's another there's another Returning to my car something. afterwards. Hands still shaking, and a head split open by the impact. Goodbye to tearful aunts and traumatized uncles. Goodbye to the phenomenal. Goodbye to the tangible. Goodbye, Wolverhampton. Goodbye, Sanford. Goodbye, Cromer. Goodbye, Damascus. This cliff path is slippery in the dew. It is hard to climb with such an infection. I must carve out the bad flesh and sling it from the aerial. I must become infused with the very air. Uh, why? Did... So wait, the narrator is the drunk driver? I'm confused. The narrator... Uh, it's definitely implied that the narrator was the drunk driver. Maybe there were three people there. Maybe all three of them were there. I always assume that it was just two, the drunk driver and, and Esther. And it came to pass that as I made my journey... I can't read anymore. I can't... Whoa, look at that. What do we have over here? Just a candle? Nothing. And there it is. It is. It's all mixed up together now. 
It's hard to say. H2NCH3 into a giant compound here. Is that... Is that the pharmaceutical one that he was trying to sell? We'll just move on and we'll head up and... Hopefully we can find more answers up there. It came to pass that as I made the journey, right? We saw that from the other side. I couldn't read any further. Just continue heading up along the candles. The candles. Journey. And was come nigh unto Damascus. I can't read anything else, really. Something new. I have no idea. I'm too close. I can't see it from here. F and I come from... Yeah, and a light from heaven shone around. What? A light from heaven... What? Shown, yeah, shone round about me. There we go. And could not see... Blind with panic, deaf with the roar of the cage traffic, heart stopped on the road to Damascus. Paul sat at the roadside, hunched up like a gull, like a bloody gull. As useless and as doomed as a syphilitic cartographer, a dying goat herd, an infected leg, a kidney stone, blocking the traffic bound for Sanford and Exeter. He was not drunk, Esther. He was not drunk at all. All his roads and his tunnels and his paths led inevitably to this moment of impact. This is not a recorded natural condition. He should not be sat there with his chemicals and his circuit diagrams. He should not be sat there at all. Oh, dr Paul is definitely the, the, the drunk here. Definitely. Damn it. So, Esther... Wait. Does that make Esther... The narrator's wife? He, she must be. I can't really make out what this said. It said something about the glory. We have to keep going. We have to release the narrator. And that... They're with me. That were there with me. That doesn't help me at all. We're getting closer to the beacon, though. Came in, too. And were there with me. Wow, look at that. We have to keep going. It was authorized personnel only a while ago. Damascus. I can still hear the gulls. I can hear the clacking of the, the fence against itself. We are almost there. That must be our ultimate destination. There it is. We will leave twin vapor trails in the air. White lines etched into these rocks. Let's head on up. Dear Esther, I have burned the cliffs of Damascus. I have drunk deep of it. My heart is my leg and a black line etched on the paper all along this boat without a bottom. You are all the world like a nest to me. Eggs unbroken form like fossils, come together, send small black flowers to the air. From this infection, hope. From this island, flight. From this grief, love. I think we all know what's going to happen here. We'll just be quiet and try to let it happen. But, I mean, he's climbing up. He's been saying it all along. Becoming a goal would be like transcendence. And he has become the goal. You might be able to see the shadow there. 
as he passes over the rocks. He has become the gull, and he's going to be flying on. Flying over the beach of his grief. That's where he's grieved for, for so long. There's the, the shadow if you caught it right there. Real fast, he has become the gall. Flies over the armada. There's the last one. And he flies out. Come back. Come back. And that's the game. Now, the game does something here that I have never seen before to be honest with you. It makes you make the conscious decision to stop and thereby end your life, so to speak. So, yeah, th th there is nothing else here. We are done. You can still hear the sound effects going on, but there is nothing more to come. So that's the game. Um, yeah, exit to main menu here. That was quite an experience. I hope you guys did enjoy it. It's hard to really start putting the pieces together that were presented here. To be honest, when I played it through the first time, they made it a little bit more clear. Um, Paul is, based on my interpretation, the first time he was the narrator. This time I'm not so sure. And then uh, Jorgensen was the drunk driver last night. I'm like, my mind is boggling. It's hard to put it all together. Uh, and every time you play it, you'll get an, a, a new experience. And I think that's what's one of the beautiful things about this game, along with the environment and the ambiance and the story. Uh, it's it's quite a compelling story. Let's go ahead and show the credits while I have, uh, while I talk about, uh, you know, it's, you know let, let's let these run quite an interesting game. I really do enjoy it. I think it really does uh, qualify as a game, even though I know a lot of people don't necessarily feel the same way. I feel like uh, there is enough variance to it that it'll bring you back for more. Uh, it's, it's something that I feel was beautifully done. I knew there were vocals. Clara, I'm on to you. It was you all along. University of Portsmouth and then uh, Valve because this is available on Steam quite quite a game and to be honest I, I am a big fan I didn't think I would be but you know just going through this once sold me on it and going through it a second time makes me want to go through it a third time to be honest with you because every time I go through it, it brings a different experience to me because everything is slightly different so I, that is going to do it for these parts of Baller Does Something Random this has been Dear Esther hope you guys have enjoyed these parts I doubt I made very many jokes so I, I don't hope you laughed but I do hope you learned and I hope to see you guys next time Thanks for watching.